So let's get going and spline our tees and greens on our first two holes. Okay, remember, just two holes. Only do two holes. Just, just do two holes. Okay. So here we got my Inkscape project open, and I have my satellite overlays. I got my Hillshade, my Google, my Bing here, and I can turn these on and off. And I have them locked too. That way, I don't accidentally move them around or grab them. So if I do this, it's not. Mo I'm moving. So I can see better, but I'm not going to accidentally shift them. Really important. And I've got my Google turned on. I could turn my Hillshade on. We might use that at some point, but I got my Google on. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be on this particular course. We talked about this. We're going to be doing a holes 10, which is right here, and 11. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, and I, there's different ways of doing this, but Let's keep things organized, at least for your first course. A lot of guys, a lot of experienced designers will do a flat hierarchy, which means they just start making stuff and they may put it all in one folder. That's fine if you're experienced, but when you're new, you need to organize things. So we're going to create a new folder up here, and I'm going to call this whole 10 because the shapes I'm going to do are on whole 10. I'm going to add it above current, and you can see I have my whole 10 right here. now. If I have that highlighted, when I do go to create a new shape, it'll end up in this folder called Hole 10. I'm going to come over here to my pen tool, and I'm going to make sure I'm up here on B Spline Path, which is this option right here. And I'm going to come down here to my T boxes, and I can see these rather easily in my Google overlay. But remember, you can turn this on and off, and you can look at other overlays. Now, my Bing, not as good. It's harder to see. It's not bad. But it's harder to see so i'm sticking with my google because the uh shading for this one time of year they were burnt out or something it looks pretty good so i'm going to start around the perimeter here i'm going to click drag click and i'm just going to drag around the perimeter and it's going to be hard for you to see but as i'm doing this i can see the shape that's taking place it's kind of blue and when i get back here to the end you're going to see that highlight i'm going to click make sure i stay steady and i'm done now if i come back up here i can click this node tool and i can see that my nodes i can see that this is not a double node if i grab that it's just a single node and that looks pretty good except it's not it is in here is pine straw so with that highlighted i'm going to come over here to my t box and you can see that t is has a 0.12 meter blend or 12 centimeter blend i'm going to click on that and now i have a t box so I'm going to come back here to my pen tool again, make sure I'm in hole 10, and I'm going to draw my next T box. And make sure I click, and I'm done. Now, it remembered my last team, uh, my last color picker, so that is another T box. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to do the rest of these, these two T boxes, but I'm going to pause. So you go ahead and do yours. So my four T boxes are done. So now I'm going to middle mouse pan to the right. And I'm going to go. And another reason that this overlay is good is they were digging up the greens during this. So it makes it really clear where my, my greens are. So I'm going to start tracing out my greens. Now I'll make sure I'm in hole 10 again. So I have hole 10 highlighted. And I'm just going to trace out this green area. Now, in case, of course, I gave you my T color, so I'm going to go down here and hover. So this is my green. You can see that has a blend of 0.12 or 12, uh, 120 millimeters or 120, 1.2 meters, whatever. Uh, so now my green is there. Okay. Now, I'm going to do my second hole now, which is right here, which is a par 3. I'm going to come up here and make sure hole 10 is highlighted. Add new layer, and you can see it automatically says hole 11. I'm going to do above current. I'm going to click add. And now I'm going to do the same thing here is I'm going to select, I'm going to trace out my T boxes and my green. And I'm going to pause while I do that. And you guys go ahead and do your second T boxes and greens on your hole. So we've got two hole folders over here. We've got hole 10, hole 11. We've got T boxes here, a green here, T boxes here, and a green here. Notice if I click on these, I can verify they are in the right hole. That's pretty much it. 
we've done our tees and our greens on our first two holes.